see today is I'm going to show you a reading response activity I created in Google Slides so I could print it for my class when we're in person or I could assign it online. Then I put that template into my Seesaw page. And I'm going to show you today all the tools you can use in Seesaw to add to those reading response activities that you would normally be doing in the classroom. Um, you can also use all of these tools through Google Slides and add them in the same way by using the Google tools. So let's get started. Here I am on our Google document. So what I wanted to show you here is what I have included are lots of different templates that you can use for any reading response activity. Of course, you can, you can supplement that with your own Bitmoji or delete the Bitmojis. And so there's a lot of opportunities here. I've already created for specific books. You can see there's another one, one of my very favorites, Jabari Jumps. Um, these are all sites, so they are printable in eight and a half by 11. You can also download these to your Seesaw page as they are right here. Or if you'll notice right down here on the bottom, I have already included the Seesaw activity link. Okay, so here we are on my Seesaw page and I have opened up a new activity, which you all probably know how to do. And what I did was I uploaded this um, background, which is the All Are Welcome page. I made that in Google Slides because I use it some years as a printable. And so I drug that in here and that's my background. But I wanted to add a little bit more for the students who are at home and they're not with me. So what I did here was up in the top left, I simply added a link. So I went to my three dots and I added a link right here. And that link was this read aloud for all are welcome. That way, once my students get to their activity page, they can listen to the story right here. Okay, right here's the link so you know that I've added it. Remember, always use a kid safe search engine so that once they're on that story, it doesn't take them somewhere else. I locked that down and that's ready for the students to listen to. For here, I decided to add a speech bubble and add a separate direction where it was down here in the bottom left. Let me get rid of that. In the bottom left where these quotations are, if you click on that, you can add your voice directions here and it won't cover up all of the work. So I recorded my voice directions, explaining the entire activity to the students, and then I saved that. And you'll just wanna let your students know that when it's blue like this, there's directions. You could also go in here and you could add an arrow, drag it down. This is going to bring the students' attention to it. Let's make it bigger so that they don't miss it. I'm going to lock that down. Now I'm going to add directions that tell the students, listen, okay? It's a listening ear for this so that you can use symbols for your students. Every time there's a listening ear, your students know they need to listen to a direction. Now, how you can do that, let me show you. Okay, I can go to a separate page. I can find a listening ear. Find which one you like. I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that image Come right back over to your Seesaw page. You can control V, paste it down. And now I'm going to put this listening ear here. Lock it down. That way my students know, oh, I need to listen right here. Okay, so they can listen to the story. They can listen to your directions. Now students can start creating. Here's just a few ideas of things you might add to really boost your reading response activities within Seesaw. Okay, so now you can see I created that activity. And before I save it, I just wanted to show you a few things. So right here, here I put the read aloud link for the book, but I also embedded it within their activity. So there are two places your students can really listen to the story. If I save this, this is what the activity will look like for your students. They will have an option to click to listen, then once they click into the activity, they can listen again and complete their activity. This is where they will also hear your directions and anything you want to model for them. Also included directions here that have all the icons and voice read aloud directions. Lots of tools you're using right here to help your students be successful with a reading response activity. 
I can't wait to see what you do. Go get started. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please leave us a comment down below. Tell us how you're using these tools in your Seesaw Classroom or in your Google Classroom. And we would all like to learn from each other. Keep it going, stay strong, and have fun with distance learning, everybody. And until next time, see you later.